Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Davis from the Bridgewater Public Library and welcome to Storytime. Today I'm going to read a couple books about Valentine's Day. I also have a rhyme and a song to share, so why don't we get started. The first book I'm going to read is called If You'll Be My Valentine. It was written by Cynthia Ryland. It's about a boy who makes valentines for all of his special friends. If you'll be my valentine, I'll kiss you on the nose. I'll scratch your ears and rub your head and pet your little toes. If you'll be my valentine, I'll give you extra treaties. I'll give you two and maybe three and let you lick my feeties. Wouldn't that tickle if the dog licked your feet? I think so. If you'll be my valentine, I'll take you on a walk. I'll pull the wagon just for you and we can sing and talk. If you'll be my valentine, I'll write a special letter. I'll add some hugs and kisses too to make it even better. And it says, Dear Grandma, and he put X's and O's, which means hugs and kisses. If you'll be my valentine, I'll sit with you today. We'll read a book about some frogs if you don't want to play. If you'll be my valentine, I'll take you in my car. You'll sit up front so you can look, but we won't go too far. If you'll be my valentine, I'll sing a song for you. And when you fly up in the sky, you can sing one too. If you'll be my valentine, I'll pour our tea at three. Spicy cookies and an orange just for you and me. If you'll be my valentine, I'll make you funny faces. You can make them back at me when we go different places. Can you make a funny face? Oh, that is funny. If you'll be my valentine, then I'll be one for you. We'll love the trees and all the world. We'll love each other too. Happy Valentine's Day. Now I have a rhyme to share with you. And it's called Right Here in My Pocket. Now I'm going to pretend I have a pocket on my sweater. and I'm going to, That's what I'm going to be pointing to, my pocket. And the rhyme goes like this. Right here in my pocket is a big surprise for you. It isn't an umbrella or a monster who says, boo. It's not a wiggly spider or a snake that likes to hiss. Right here in my pocket is a big two-handed kiss. Mwah. Wanna try, it? try to do it with me? We'll do it slow the first time. So you wanna pretend that you have a pocket or if you have a pocket, that's even better. So you're gonna point to a pocket, either real or fake. So it goes, right here in my pocket is a big surprise for you, and point to somebody in the room with you. It isn't an umbrella. Can you make an umbrella with your hands? Or a monster who says, everybody say boo. Boo! Take your hand up here like this, make a spider. It's not a wiggly spider or a snake that likes to hiss. Can you make your arm into a snake? Hiss. Right here in my pocket is a big two-handed kiss. Take both hands and blow a kiss. All right, we'll do it one more time. You ready? Right here in my pocket is a big surprise for you. It isn't an umbrella or a monster who says boo. It's not a wiggly spider or a snake that likes to hiss. Right here in my pocket is a big two-handed kiss. Mwah. Great job, everyone. Now I have another book to share with you today, and this one is called Ruby Valentine Saves the Day, and it's by Lori Friedman. <clears throat> High above the hills of Heartland, just beyond the township sign, with her feathered friend named Lovebird lived Ruby Valentine. Now Ruby had a favorite day, it came around once a year. As she settled into her new home, Valentine's was drawing near. 
So she decided to throw a party, and without a moment's hesitation, she and Lovebird sat right down and designed the invitation. It's a party on February 14th, also known as Valentine's Day. Please join me at my house to eat, drink, and play. I'll await your RSVP that says you'll be mine. I can't wait to celebrate. Love, Ruby Valentine. Ruby mailed the invitations, then hugged Lovebird with affection. She told her feathered friend they'd plan this party to perfection. She and Lovebird hung new curtains. They scoured every nook. They decorated room by room, and then they began to bake and cook. When they tidied up the outside, Lovebird clung to every feather. Ruby shivered with excitement, or possibly from bad weather. As the special day drew closer, Ruby counted RSVPs. She never noticed the thermometer. It read 32 degrees. Valentine's is tomorrow, and I want everything to be just right. Ruby tied up gifts and goodie bags, and then she kissed Lovebird goodnight. But when Valentine's arrived, it brought something unexpected. Though Ruby planned out most things, there was one that she neglected. A snowstorm, cried Ruby. She spent all morning on the phone, and no one could make it up the mountain. She'd be selling valentines alone. My perfect party, sobbed poor Ruby. Now it won't take place. Lovebird wiped away the tears that trickled down her face. Then he looked outside the window and said, Do not despair. If no one can make it here, we'll take the party there. Ruby looked at Lovebird. That wasn't how I planned the day. Lovebird shook his feathers. There is no other way. So together, Ruby and Lovebird carefully packed their sled. As they set down the mountain, Ruby yelled, Full steam ahead! But as they made their way to Heartland, little did they know, they left behind a trail of party fare amidst the ice and snow. And can you see the presents, the cards, are flying out of the sled? Oh no, let's see what happens. Happy Valentine's Day, cried Ruby as she went from door to door. She gathered everyone in Heartland from every school, house, and store. Time to celebrate, smiled Ruby. We'll have a party in town square. Then horrified, she realized her sled was dry and bare. Ruby wrung her hands together. I've made a big mistake. We can't have a party without presents, cards, or cake. Nonsense, said the townspeople. We'll have fun anyway. As long as we're together, let's enjoy the day. So they built a giant snowman. They sang songs around the fire. They sounded so good together, they formed the Heartland Choir. Everyone loved the holiday, but Ruby most of all. It wasn't what she planned, but she truly had a ball. In the end, everyone thanked her and said, You saved the day. Ruby smiled from ear to ear. She had something she wanted to say. I've always loved Valentine's. You all know that is true. Though I celebrate every year, today I learn something new. Planning the day out to perfection is not what makes it great. If you're with the ones you love, that's all you need to celebrate. The end. And everything turned out okay for Ruby, and the townspeople and Ruby had a great time. Now, if you're doing 
the uh, Get Snowed in Reading Challenge through Beanstack. The key word for this video is Groundhog. If you haven't heard about the Get Snowed in Reading program, you can go to our website. and It'll tell you how to register and how the program works. Basically, you um, record how many minutes you've read or what videos you've watched. In return for doing that, you'll earn a badge, then you'll earn the ticket, and then you can use the ticket to enter to win some great prizes. The uh, reading program is open to children and adults, so go to our website and check it out. Before we go, I have one song to do with you. It's called Tony Chestnut. And I'll go over the words and the motions, and then we'll do it together. So, we're gonna touch our toes, it goes toe, knee, then touch your knee, chest, and then instead of head, we're going to say nut, nose, I love, you hug yourself, you, Tony nose, Tony nose, Tony chest, nut, nose, I love you, that's what. Tony knows. You want to try it with me? Okay, so we're going to start out. You should be touch, you're going to be touching your toes, and then you know we do our knees, chest, nut, nose, I love, hug yourself, you point to somebody in the room. All right, why don't we try it? It's a lot harder than it looks. Ready? It isn't as hard as it looks, sorry. <laughs> Ready? Tony, chestnut, nose, I love you. Tony, nose, Tony, nose, Tony, chestnut, nose, I love you. That's what Tony knows. See, that wasn't too bad. Well, I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day, and we'll see you in two weeks. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.